In today's episode, I'm gonna discuss how to promote your home business. If you're just getting started, you're gonna learn about promotion, otherwise nobody's gonna know that you're home and nobody will know about your business. So my name is Ted Thomas, and I've been involved in a home business for over 30 years. Now you're watching a YouTube video right now. On this video, I'm actually promoting my home business. This is just one of a dozen ways to promote a home business. I'm gonna give you lots of ways before we finish this particular video. So the title on this is, How to Promote Your Home Business. Now entrepreneurs are unusual people. They usually like to work where they're most productive. Now, where are you most productive? You might be most productive at work, or sometimes you're most productive at 3 a.m. in the morning. It's gonna be up to you. So to promote your home business, you must promote using more than one source. So what is that source gonna be, and how many of them are you gonna make useful to yourself? Now, I'm using a YouTube video today to promote a home business, okay? If this is your first promotion, you're gonna learn a lot of the first time you watched about this. All right, so successful entrepreneurs, they're really searching, they're trying to solve problems for people. So if you're gonna have a successful business, your business has to be designed around helping people be more successful. How are they gonna do that? You're gonna figure out what their problem is and you're gonna come up with a solution. So if you can't solve problems, your business probably isn't gonna last. But if you can solve problems, you can let people know in many different ways. So the solution basically for you is you wanna have a home-based business and that's okay, all right? Now, how are you gonna do that? Well, it's pretty easy to start the business and we can talk about that, but what are you gonna do about promoting? You're gonna to have to promote where the people that you want, you're gonna to have to figure out where they are. Now, what do I mean by that? You're gonna to have to figure out where the people are that want your product. So let me see if I can give you a couple of examples of that. Now, you would know what the Ford Motor Company is, now, I don't expect you to do what the Ford Motor Company does on a daily basis because they spend millions of dollars. But if you get the example, you can do the same thing. So what kind of cars does the Ford Motor Company create? I'm just going to pick one and we're going to try to market it and we'll use that as our example. So let's pick the Ford Mustang. All right. Now, many people would consider that it's kind of like a sports car. Well, it's at least a sporty car for people, maybe young people and maybe people that want to feel young and maybe people that just think young. So of course, many people would like to have a car like that. So it's good looking, it's got a lot of zip to it, it's been around, it has a good reputation. All right, so young people that are mobily upward trying to make money and impress people, they want to have something like a Mustang. Now, how are you gonna to get to where those people are? Where are they? Well, they're certainly gonna be on television because young people watch television. All right, what about football games? They're gonna be there, yes. Do they read certain magazines and maybe even go to NASCAR races? Uh, will they read billboards? I don't know what they're gonna do, but you need to find out where they are if you're gonna promote your product. So Ford promotes in all of those places and they never stop. They never stop, they're continuously doing that. So you probably remember that big circle uh, emblem that says Ford on it. It's on trucks, it's on cars, it's on sports cars, it's wherever. It's probably one of the most recognizable symbols or trademarks in the United States and the world. Why? Because they've had a hundred years of being in magazines, on television, on radio, on billboards. I could go on and on all over the internet. So everybody knows that's the Ford symbol. All right, if it's recognized worldwide, they've done a good job with their trademark. They've done a good job of letting the world know that they're there. All right, that's what you're gonna have to do. Now, could you do that on the internet? Well, of course you could. You could create YouTube videos about your particular or whatever problem-solving product you have. So don't lose sight of the business. Everybody gets so involved in doing the paperwork and doing the phone calls and doing all that, they lose sight of the business. The business has to solve a problem. If it solves a problem, now you have to tell people what the problem is. A lot of people working in business, they don't know what problem they're solving and they don't care, but they work there every day. But if they did care and they really looked at it, they'd say, oh, this is solving a problem. Well, how many places can you go and let people know about your business? So if you're solving a problem, you got a business that's gonna work and it'll work forever. Now, let's do it at home. That'd be a lot easier. So money can be a problem. So are you gonna use your own money or are you gonna use someone else's money in this business? You always will need money for promotion. 
promotion is probably going to be the most expensive part of the business. Now, everyone will talk about getting a viral video. Uh, they'll talk about getting a freebie or a story about them on television. I get that. Everybody wants to do that, but you have to do a lot more than that. You're going to have to let the world know that you're there and you have a problem-solving product. If you have no problem-solving product, I can tell you, don't start a home business because you're going to be sitting there all by yourself. So, could you have a blog about your solving problem? Yes. You could have exactly how you do it. You could explain it. You could do demonstrations. Uh, there's any number of ways of letting the world know. So, media is going to be important. Now, what's media? Well, media could be the Wall Street Journal. It, it could be a local TV station. It could be a radio station. So, you have to think about, do you want to go on the radio and tell people? Do you want to go on television and tell people? Do you want to go on the internet and tell You're going to have to let the world know. So, what question am I answering today? How to promote your home business. Now, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm talking today about at least discussing it, how to promote your home business. So, keep in mind, if you're solving a problem, it's great that you can solve the problem, but the world doesn't know about it. So, you're going to have to figure out where the people are in the world that have your problem. All right, is it a money-making problem? Is it a fix-it problem? Is it a medical problem? All of these people are advertising and announcing what they have so that you'll know that they can solve a problem. If the business doesn't solve a problem, it's probably not going to be in a business very long. So, lots of stuff on the internet is free, probably a little bit too much stuff on the internet, but people make a video and if it shows someone how to solve a problem, maybe it will go viral. I doubt it will, but maybe it will. But the point is, you have to let the world know that you have a problem-solving product. All right. Now, if the video makes sense, that's great. If you can do it some other way, that's okay too. For example, I'm in the business where I buy tax-defaulted property. So, I have to use media to let people know that I have that property that they can buy for pennies on the dollar. So, how do I do that? Well, I can go on Craigslist. Okay, I can go on eBay and put lots of pictures of it. I can use Trulia. I can use Zillow. I can pay a broker and use the multiple listing system. Okay, these are all media. Okay, I can use Facebook Marketplace. It's on and on. So I'm constantly saying, how many places can I let people know? So do I have a blog? Yes, I have a blog. Do people respond to the blog? Yes. Now, can you do one blog and forget it? No. So we have to do a blog at least a few times every week to let people know because the internet's moving. It's like a car. It's going 90 miles an hour all the time. So, as things change, you're going to have to change with it. So, you'll have to think about all the different ways that you want to promote your business. All right. Just because you're home and feeling comfortable with no boss growling at you to get things done, that your problems have just begun. They're not gone away because the boss is always pushing to let people know, get out there and work, right? Well, you have the same challenge. You're going to have to make sure that you're on Facebook, make sure that you're on Twitter, make sure that you're on LinkedIn. Well, folks, that's all going to be work. All right. There's all kinds of social media. I won't go through it now. But the point is, if you're going to be in a home business, you need to learn to promote that home business. It's going to be the most important part of your business. Not the money that you get, not solving the problem that you're doing. The most important part will end up as being the promotion. So, I'm in a very small niche. By that, I mean a subset of a giant market. I'm in the giant real estate market, but I'm in a very subset of it, just very small. Very few people know about it. Now, a lot of people don't know about it, even though it's very lucrative. All right. How do I tell people? Well, I have to use a lot of different ways to do that. All right. So, you're not going to be able to uh, run a business just sitting at home and hoping that it's going to work. All right. So, as I say, I've said a number of times, business requires promotion. Okay. I'm doing a promotional video right now to let people know that I can show them how to have a home business. But what is that home business? Well, I'll tell you just a little bit about it. It's a business where people don't want property. And when they don't want property, they don't pay taxes. And if you don't pay taxes on your property, the local government confiscates the property. And then to make it easy for me, the local government sells the property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. Well, that's pretty cheap, right? 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. And they take the mortgage. They cancel it and there's no mortgage. So, now I can buy properties for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. Well, that's not going to do me any good. What am I going to do with the property? Well, then I have to do the same thing you have to do. I have to promote it. So, what do I do? I let people know on 
Craigslist. I let Facebook Market know. I let uh, eBay know. I let Zillow know. Every source that I can possibly think of, I'm going to let people know that I have this property. Now, they don't know what I paid for it, but they can certainly look up and see what it's worth on the tax roll. So let's say it was worth 100000 and I only paid 20000 and I'm willing to sell it for 40000 You say, Ted, you're giving it away. No, no, I'm not. If I pay 20 and I can sell for 40, that's a heck of a month around my house, pay all the bills, that's for sure. So the point is, no matter what business you're in, you have to promote it. Can I do this whole business from home? I not only can do it from home, but now because we can telecommunicate, I can be all over the world. I have people that work with me in the Philippines. I have people in Bangkok. I have people in the Canadian provinces. I have people in different states in the United States. You're getting the idea. You can do it from anywhere. But if I don't promote that business, what's going to happen? Well, I'm not going to have a business very long. My name is Ted Thomas, and I have a couple of recommendations before I leave. My first recommendation is this. Number one, if you're going to go out and buy these properties, you need to get educated. You need to get educated if you're going to be in the stock business. But you need to get educated and make sure that you have looked at the property, boots on the ground on the property. Don't buy it off a list. Don't buy it from a picture. I don't know what happened to the property. It might have been a hurricane. It might have been a fire. It might be next to a chicken farm. Don't buy what you haven't seen. You wouldn't marry the woman unless you had seen her. All right. So that's number one. Number two, figure out what your exit strategy is before you buy. So if you know what you can sell it for, now you can determine how you're going to be able to make money. Some people go to the auction, they bid and they bid and they bid and they bid. They bid all the way up to, they put more money into the property than it's actually worth. So I'm Ted Thomas and right below me, right below me is a free gift for you.